A five binder is larger. The archive refills are smaller. Both of my six string binders can fit well. Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back. So today we're gonna be comparing my A5 versus my archive six string binder. So you can see which one is the better ring binder for you. So be sure to keep watching and let's get started. So first we're gonna compare the sizes of the binders as well as the binder refills. So my A5 binder, which is on the left, measures six and seven eighths inches in width by nine and one fourth inches in height. And my archive binder on the right measures about five and one fourth inches in width by about seven inches in height. So looking at them side by side, you can see that the A5 binder is larger and how there is a difference in their height and their width since the archive binder is narrower and shorter than the A5, which you can see this more when the archive binder is on top of the A5 binder. So this is important when it comes to the binder refills. So as you can see, the archive refills are smaller than the A5 ones and the holes for the binder rings are different when compared side by side. So depending on your journaling style, you may or may not like the archive binder better. Also, the binder ring mechanism is shorter in the archive binder compared to the A5 binder, even though both have binder ring sizes of about 19 millimeters, which equals about 0.75 inches. So next we're gonna compare the pricing. So both of these six ring binders are actually from Doru Naru, and these are the Luca Lab composition binders. So my A5 binder cost about $28.98, and I purchased it with a PVC glitter cover, and this binder also features an elastic band. And for my archive binder, this one cost about $22.40, and it also featured a glitter PVC cover and an elastic band as well. So just remember the price will vary based on the store that you purchase it from, your budget, and if you buy the binder by itself or not. So now we're gonna compare the functionality of both six string binders. So depending on what you use your six string binder for, so for example, things like journaling or even planning in your six string binder, this is going to impact the use of your six string binder. So to me, y'all, the archive is way more practical to use since it takes less time to complete journal spreads. So here you can see the difference in the amount of space given by both ring binders. So while the A5 binder gives more room to write in it, the archive binder gives less space, which may work better for you if you don't like worrying about filling up your page. And they're both pretty easy to take with you on the go, depending on how you carry them. So here's the clip where you can see both of my six string binders can fit well into my mini Konkin backpack. However, neither binder can fit into my pink cross body bag, even though the archive binder almost can fit perfectly into it, the A5 binder literally is hanging out. It can't fit, it's not cute anymore. It's looking at M-E-S-S. -S. So double check to make sure your binder will fit in the bag of your choice. So now we're gonna take a look at the binder options. So the A5 binder actually has a few stores with a good variety. So for example, Mochi Things has A5 binders that are clear with glitter on the cover. Others have a zipper closure on them and even some have a leather material for their covers. Luca Lab also has some A5 binders, however they call them diaries. So these are composition themed like the one that I have. Some have a heart cover with fruits on them and some are different shades of pink with glitter on the covers. Also there's a US store called Cozy Cloud Co that also sells Luca Lab A5 binders as well. So for the archive binder, Luca Lab also has some of these that are composition themed like the one that I have. Some have a colorful trim with a zipper closure and others have a soft cover and a button closure on it. And others are clear with a holographic glitter effect. And keep in mind, Cozy Cloud Co also has archive binders as well. And there are also Etsy shops that have holographic ones. Doru Naru and Sosoroa, which are Korean online shops, also have archive binders that are Care Bear themed. Some even carry some of the Luca Lab binders that are super cute, and they even have the color palette checker print ones. So next we're gonna compare the binder refill options. So for the A5 binder, Mochi Things has some that you can use to deco the front and back of your binder. They also have planner refills and ones that are colorful or have different pictures on them. Luca Lab also has a five refills with pictures and quotes on them. 
Some are colorful with a gradient pattern, and they also have ones that you can use for vocabulary. Etsy has some shops that sells A5 refills that you can use for planning or even ones you can use for storage. And if you guys don't know, I have some really pretty colorful ones from an Etsy shop called Paper Qualia that I think are super cute. So for the archive refills, there are online stores like Luca Lab that have some like the A5 binder that are colorful or have pictures with quotes on them. Others are a vintage computer theme. And keep in mind, Cozy Cloud Co. as well as Doru Naru has Luca Lab archive refills as well that you can check out. Also something interesting I noticed was when I went on AliExpress to search for archive refills and they actually brought up A6 refills. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if your A6 refills work in your archive binder since I tried this with my archive refills y'all and it did not fit properly into my A6 binder. So when it comes to which six string binder is better, it really just depends on the purpose you have for your six string binder. So if you wanna use it for things such as journaling, completing journal prompts, or even planning or studying for school. Knowing these things may help you determine which one is better for you. So if y'all don't know by now, my motto is you can't go wrong with either binder. So be sure to comment below which 16 binder you prefer, and I'll see you guys in the next video, kittens. Adios. Ah, I did so good until that part. It's a car. I'm gonna let it go. Ooh, I had a burp, excuse me. Oh yeah.